We begin this evening's program on the boys' side with a team bidding for its second straight district crown, the Parkland Trojans. A been there, done that squad that squared off Saturday evening for the 6A title against Upstart Liberty, a group that starts two freshmen and one sophomore, but had already garnered 16 wins this season after just 14 in total over the last two years. Nigel Long's Hurricanes outlasted top-ranked Emmaus in overtime of the semifinals. Sensational sophomore Dwayne Chess Jr. led Liberty in that ball game with a team-high 18 points, and the 10th grader continued to shine on Saturday. Chess with a half dozen in the opening quarter as the number four seed held a 14-10 advantage after the first. Parkland Jr. and EPC MVP Nick Koval missed his first four shots Saturday and had just two points after the opening eight minutes following a one for seven performance from the field. The second stanza, however, was a completely different story. Koval couldn't miss in the second quarter, literally finishing six for six from the field, highlighted by a trio of trays. He tallied the Trojans' first 13 points of the period, hitting halftime with 18 in total. Senior Matt Ray connected on this buzzer-beating three ball to give Parkland a 31-24 advantage at the break. Defending champs then used more of a scoring by committee approach in the third quarter to keep Liberty at bay. After long range jumpers from Luke Spang and then Joey Gerbasio, junior Zaire Smoltz went to work underneath. He finished with six points. Liberty though didn't back down Chess Jr. with two of his team leading 21 on the night. Freshman Blake Hargrove then dialing in from long distance. He too reached double figures with 14 points. Trojans though with another buzzer beater from deep this time. It's junior Robbie Roosh giving Parkland a 46-36 lead through three and the defending champs would seal the deal from there. Despite the slow start, Koval still finished with a game high 24 points, passing the 20 point plateau for the 20th time this season as the Parkland Trojans claim back to back district titles with a 57-43 victory, a second straight district celebration for the fellas from Orpheus. It feels great. It's an indescribable feeling. You know, all the work you put in the off season uh, with your teammates in the, you know, during practice and stuff. It's just great. It never gets old. I'm so happy. I don't even know how to describe it. I wanted this win so bad. I mean, I don't think I wanted to win so much in my life. So this means everything. You know, one thing I always remind myself is don't feel relieved. You know, like, you know, you've done this a couple times. Don't feel relieved. Feel, feel joy. Feel happy. And um, I tried to keep reminding myself that tonight. Give credit to Liberty, they're, they're a really tough team. They're gonna be really good for years to come. But I thought at the end of the game, we played really smart, made some big shots. Everyone wants to win so bad and they wanna win over their own personal stats. And that's everything on a team, you know. Not to mention we had Nick Koval, best player in the league. He proved it tonight and we feed off him. He makes shots, we start making shots. Making shots is contagious and he leads this team. I put in way too much work not to keep my confidence up. So all my teammates, my coaches were great about it. It's like, you gotta shoot no matter what. If you're open and some guys two feet off you, doesn't matter. You shoot the ball. So credit to them. And yeah, like I put in way too much work just not to go out there and perform. 